actually two types of emergency. One is a hypoglycemia and another diabetic emergency is a hyperglycemia. In diabetic hyper hypoglycemia, usually it is caused by excess of drugs, usually medicine, usually insulin or sulfonylureas, and the patient's sugar falls below 70 mg per day. And in cases of hypoglycemia, you have to correct the blood sugar. And there is a rule of 15, that is we have to give 15 grams of direct sugars and check blood sugar every 15 minutes till the blood sugar is controlled. So 15 grams of sugar is usually found in 3 teaspoonfuls of sugar. Or you can also use a cup of uh, fruit juice or a syrup. And also you can use uh, hypoglycemic tablets, that's glucose tablets. They are also available, 4 tablets at a time can be used. Hypoglycemia is a diabetic emergency and it has to be treated with administration of either intravenous glucose or if the patient is conscious by administration of oral sugars. And sugars can be given as direct blood sugar, direct sugars like normal sugar and can be given as 3 teaspoonfuls of normal sugar that is 15 grams and or you can also use a cup of syrup or a cup of fruit juice and if the patient carries glucose tablets with him he can also take 4 tablets of hypotabs it's called the glucose tablets and those patients who are unconscious and they have gone into coma they have to be admitted and given intravenous glucose. So, this is a serious emergency, and in hyperglycemic patients, if the blood sugar is very high, you require again insulin to bring down the blood sugar, and then, of course, you can convert the patient to a oral medication. I'll be talking on uh, five topics uh, on related to diabetes. Number one will be whether diabetes is a hereditary disease. So diabetes, there are two types of diabetes mainly for that we see and there are also other types that is type 1 and type 2. In type 1 diabetes it is usually insulin is required for controlling of the diabetes. Type 1 diabetes has a genetic background but only genes will not cause the, cause the disease. You also require an environmental factor because it has been seen that among patients who are identical twins, one twin might get a type 1 diabetes and the second twin might not get the disease because it, although they have the same genetic makeup, you require an environmental factor, uh, maybe a viral infection or whatever, which causes the genes to activate. Diabetes in women is usually more serious because they have more complications. Namely, cardiovascular complications are more and it has been found that cardiovascular diseases are four times among diabetic women than among non-diabetic women. Also, eye disease, that is diabetic ophthalmopathy, is found more in women than in men. And diabetic women also suffer from more nephropathy than diabetic men. So diabetes in women is always more serious and it has to be kept under control with regular medication and other means.
डायबिटीज इन प्रेगनेंसी एक्चुअली प्लानिंग एक्चुअली स्टार्ट स्टार्ट एक्चुअली कंसीडर टू बी बॉर्डर द कंट्रोल इवन बिफोर द प्रेगनेंट इवन बिफोर बिफोर कंसेप्शन सो दैट देयर इज अ मॉलिक्यूल फॉर प्रेगनेंसी एंड यूजुअली इंसुलिन इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस पेशेंट्स टू कीप देयर शुगर वेल अंडर कंट्रोल एंड आफ्टर डिलीवरी they can again go back to their oral medication but during pregnancy they require regular control of their blood glucose and insulin has to be used